Right, uh, well, welcome back. Uh, welcome to Build the U Cat, Build the Cat, Skin the Cat, whatever you want to call it. Right, here we are. So, what are we doing? Uh, another video right for you. Now, change of, change of track, change of mind, change of heart. What are we doing today? Uh, took a break from quants. Right, as I promised. Uh, we'll be starting with our new section, making the decisions in decision making. Right, so we need to make some decisions in this decision making section. Right, so quick one. Uh, when I look at any of these questions that were there, right, so all together, this is how uh, my UCAT will be structured. You know, in verbal decision, quant, situational judgment. Right, a uh, quick one, uh, very different from pre-2025, so usually uh, prior to 2025. We used to have, uh, as you see here, uh, all together some questions. Uh, there we are. Right, so you, we used to have for verbal decision, so we used to have uh, uh, verbal decision quant abs been, has been removed, so there's no abstract whatsoever. Right, okay, now what, what's happened now? So abstract is removed key thing that you observe. Verbal number of questions stay the same. 44 before, 44 now. Quants, 36 before, 36 now. First thing to observe, and the most important thing to observe, is number of questions in decision were 29, now pumped up to 35. Added six new questions, or six more questions. Right, so first thing, decision making, new section, uh, right, okay, so what was the whole game about? So, now in 2025, they just pumped up the number of questions uh, or for decision making. Used to be 29, now goes up to 35, adding six new questions. Okay, so what's the strategy? Now, since we need to make decisions for the decision making section, right, what does it contain? What style of questions are there in decision making? Uh, subsection, syllogism, logics, recognizing, interpretation, then probability and stats. Right, okay, so if I were you, previously, when they did decision making, of course they do it now, the old decision making section, as I told you, there used to be 29 questions, out of which 29 questions. Nine used to be syllogisms. All right, okay, okay, wait a minute. What did you say? They used to be, out of the 29 questions, there used to be nine questions of syllogism. Not, not done yet. Compared to any other question in the whole of UCAT, each and every question was, is, will be, not sure about the will be, each and every question was one mark, except syllogism. Each and every syllogism question was and is two marks. Yes, you heard me right. Each question carries two marks. There's something called uh, partial marks you get if you get one. Well, if you get, there are four questions, uh, four, four yes and no's, uh, you get uh, four or five. So if you get one uh, uh, wrong, you don't get two marks. So firstly, one more time. So uh, just that you got uh, this question here. So skinks and iguanas are two different types of lizards. So you got one, two, three, four, five. So do we see here drag? I need to drag yes and no to all these questions, right? Okay. Now, so there are uh, five things I need to get. If you get all of these right, if you get uh, if you get all of these uh, right, you get two marks. All right. You get four right, which is four out of five, which is one wrong. You get one mark. And if you get two, which is three right and two wrong, or any more than uh, more than equal to two wrong, zilch, zero marks. Right, okay, so syllogism, if I were you, the decision I have to make in this decision-making section is, if I've got the time, I need to build up my skill set to crack this syllogism question. Imagine if I can crack all the nine questions. I've got two marks, nine times two, 18. I've already got 18 marks. And I can do away with logical puzzles, a bit of a time sucker. Uh, takes up the time, it's doable, but I need to weigh the options. Logical puzzles can be put on the back burner because it takes usually a little bit extra time than any other question. So one more time. Decision making, special things. What's the special thing? Decision making, the only subsection which gives you the maximum amount of time. Look here. So the only subsection gives you maximum amount of time. For example, right, here we are. Verbal reasoning, 44 questions, 22 minutes. Wow. 30 seconds a question. Quants, 36 questions, 26 minutes. 
roughly around 36, 37 seconds a question. This was verbal reasoning, 30 seconds a question. Quant, 36, 37 seconds a question. Now watch this. Decision making, 35 question, 37 minutes. That means I get exactly, I wouldn't say exactly, just above one minute, which is 63 seconds to be precise. That means for every question, I am getting one minute. Probability of cracking this decision making, this is where the differences come, uh, which is how good you can get in terms of uh, decision making. So maximum amount of time is there. So how do I crack it? The strategy to crack decision making is attack, attack, attack syllogisms. If you can get all the nine, I'm assuming there will be nine because minimum nine, if they're previously, if you look at the previous ones, uh, there used to be 29 questions altogether in decision making, out of which nine used to be syllogism. Do the maths, roughly around nine out of 21, third, something to do with uh, just about so percent. So nine out of 29, so 31% of the questions were to do with syllogism. If I assume the same ratio, or uh, if the ratio is the same, 31% of 31% uh, of 35, uh, we'll say somewhere we're looking at uh, just about 10 to 11 questions I'm looking at. So let's uh, be realistic. Let's assume they stick to nine question syllogisms. So your idea should be attack, 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 prepare, 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 invest time uh, in attacking, getting your skill set up with these two markers, syllogisms. Ready? So that's what we're here for. Let's crack. Uh, the game is syllogisms and let's see, many ways of doing it. Now, unlike many other databases, uh, Medify, UCAT, uh, this particular UCAT that we're looking at, uh, the explanation is lame. Sorry to say that. The explanation is not that convincing. Number one. Number two. Medify, med entry, they get you to sometimes explanation is not that convincing. I can guarantee you, many of you will say, oh, wait a minute, I thought, how is it possible? Yes, it's valid. There are possible, there are some loopholes. If you look back in one of the videos, we actually dug out a loophole on the on this UCAT website that we're looking at. Uh, they failed to get a UCAT question, which is on quants. Last video, I think it's the last video I did it. Uh, in which we found a flaw on the website. Righty, okay, here we are. So, what's our plan? So, before I would discuss our plan, the, their plan, which is most of the websites, they will teach you how to do UCAT using uh, Venn diagrams or just looking at the, or just looking reading the sentences. Nah, not going to do Venn diagrams. That's my last strategy. Why? It takes up time. Drawing things out. I don't know who which circle goes in what. No. So, what's the plan then? I've got 98 to 99% of my questions I'll crack using tree diagrams. You heard me right. Tree diagrams. Some rules I have to establish while we doing these questions. We'll keep on talking about those rules. Right. This is an easy question that I picked up just to boost your confidence. Right. To get the ball uh, rolling. Right. Uh, so 99% of the questions that we will do will involve tree diagrams. Ready? What's about the remainder 1%? Uh, Two-way tables. That's it. We're not going to use any other strategy. Game's on now. Let's play. So, uh, tree diagrams. Sing, uh, skinks and ig iguanas are two types of lizards. All right, lizzies. I've got two types. What are those two types? There we go. Uh, skinks and iguanas. Righty. Okay. Done. Uh, IG. Right. Okay. Uh, you can use shortcuts as much as you can. L, S, and I. But just doing it for the sake of it now. All Ds are skinks. All Devazis are skinks. All the devices skin. Not skins are not devices. It would not go. It would not go this way. It would not go this way. No, 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 no. Because you said devices are skinks. So, right. So devices are skinks. Go here. All devices king. All lizards are reptile. All lizards are reptile. If all lizards are reptile, that means anybody here will also be a reptile. Ready? Let's play. Right. So no lizards are skinks. Absolute joke. Lizards are skinks. He just told us. So no. We definitely disagree. Right. So, why did we disagree? Why did we say no? Uh, why? Because that's contradiction. He clearly told us that in here, lizards are of two types. Lizards are skinks and iguanas. Change the ink color so that we can contrast to what we've got. Uh, choose blue. Right. Okay. Ready. So, he says, oh, lizards are skinks. Do I see skinks? Uh, do I see skinks here? Right. Uh, yeah. So, I chose... Uh, so, 
he says, no, let's ask kings, let's ask kings. No. All the vases are reptiles. Of course we say that. We said, whatever is inside the bubble will be reptiles. All the vases are reptiles. The vases are kings. Agreed? Yes, we totally agree with you. Right, okay. No, the vases are iguanas. Yep, we agree, because the vases are kings, so you can't be both. Uh, no, the vases are iguanas. We agree with you. Some reptiles are kings. Reptiles, out of the whole family of reptiles, some are skinks. We definitely agree with you. All skinks are divazis. Ready? Rule number two or three, whatever it is. Right. Now he says divazis are skinks. Now are my arrow is going downwards. He says divazis are skinks. Whenever the arrow goes downwards, you have to go in the direction of the arrow. He's asking me, in this case, all skinks are divazis. You cannot go against the arrow. Uh oh. So that means. I'm going with the arrow. I cannot go against the arrow. So impossible. We'll have to disagree. So one more time. Devazis are skinks, but skinks are not devazis. Go with the arrow. Devazis are skinks. You're not allowed to go back. Right. Okay. So we'll have to big fat no. Disagree. Ready? So we got no. Yes, yes, yes. No. Let's see how many we got it wrong. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, ready? Okay. Uh, right. Uh, Wait, 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 wait. Hopefully we can all see. Ready? Okay, here we are. So he says, number one, uh, he says, does not follow. Yeah, we said no. Ready? Uh, does follow. Yes, we got it right. Does follow. We said yes. Question four, does follow. Yes. Question five, does not follow. Vamos. One, two, three, four, five. So we got all five. There we go. Baby question, two marks. Uh, but by the way, this is the standard of questions. It can get a little bit more crazy, but there we are. So uh, you can rewind, go back and forth in time and cracking on to the next question. Let's play. Right, okay. Next question is, let's take another question which I found, uh, which here we are. Right, so I showed you one question where we said 99% of the questions uh, will be tree diagrams. Our only strategy is tree, 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 tree diagrams. Uh, plan B, 1% of the questions would be a question like this splashed on front of your screen is where we'll use two-way diagrams. Ready? Okay. In a car park, there are 50 vehicles of which 30 cars and the rest are vans. Ready? Half of the cars blue and red, but none of the reds are vans. All right. Okay. Now, how do I know it is a two-way table? When you've got two variables, okay, what are the two variables? I've got cars... One variable is vehicles, which is two options, cars and vans. The other variable being color, which is two options. So that means if I've got two options, two options, I will draw a two-way diagram, blue and red. Everybody gets so far. Ready? Okay. So now let's crack. It's super easy. Uh, now, so what do we got? In a car park, there are 50 vehicles. All right. So all together, there are 50 vehicles. Uh, of which 30 are cars. Ready? So 30 are cars. That means 20 need to be vans. Good. Uh, half the cars blue, half red. So half of 30 is 15 and 15. Ready? But none of the red vehicles are vans. All right. No red. That means all of the 20 are going to be blue. How many blues do I have? Do I have 30? How many reds do I have? 15. 15 plus zilch. 15. 15. Oh, makes sense. Ready? Let's get cracking. Some of the vans are blue. Some of the vans are blue. Absolute no. You said why? No. The word is some. That's the second part to note. So if it is some, uh, 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 don't does not mean uh, does not mean some. He's contradicting. He's all the vans are twenty. All the vans twenty. All them are blue. So can't say that. Ready? Okay. So we disagree. Right. Okay. Moving on. The only red vehicles are cars. We agree with you. There are no red vehicles. Red vehicles are cars. 100% yes. Red vehicles. Red. This is my red. Are cars. Next. All the vans are blue of white. Yeah, I do see the vans are blue or white. Rule number three. First rule was uh, go. No, don't need to go behind the arrow. If you remember the previous question, we don't go against the arrow. Number one. Second rule. We hear the word some contradiction. It wasn't some. It was all. Ready? Okay. Change the color. Uh, go back to red or orange. Right. Okay. So all the vehicles are blue. Or white. We all understand the vehicles are blue or white. Sorry, lack of information. We got in car, don't have any color. So rule number three. If there is a mention of a new thing which is not present in the stimulus stem of the question, 
this is the main question we'll call it stem stimulus so you have the passage uh if there's no mention sorry lack of information inconclusive evidence because there's no mention of the why so i will say no so rule number three if you see something mentioned in this statement but not in the main uh, stimulus right we disagree lack of information inconclusive there are more blue cars than blue vans more blue cars no way there are uh 15 blue cars and 20 blue vans absolute not right one more time there are more blue cars how many blue cars 15 how many vans 20 he's saying there are more nope there are more red cars than red vans 100 percent yes red cars 15 no red vans 100 percent yes ready let's check uh, okay, so, uh, 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 okay, here we can see what, hopefully we can see what's got, what we have. So, he says, does not follow. The first one, he says, does not follow. Uh, look at that, does not follow. We are good. Second one, he says, does follow. We are good. Third one, he says, not follow. We are good. Fourth one, he says, does not follow. We are good. Last one, he says, does follow. Bravo. In which we got five all right there we go two back two marks in the back right so that was it as we go progress along uh, we'll talk about loads and loads and loads I'm trying to keep the videos short and sweet um, I don't know if, uh, if please give me drop me a comment on uh, yes uh, drop me a comment in which you would like the videos to be long short or medium right uh, I thought delicate time is 10 minutes 15 minutes uh, per video so I've have um, moved on to just about 18 minutes now right so please drop a comment or any questions or anything on uh, decisions uh, making or you're trying to make a decision on anything please drop a comment firstly question no matter uh, no matter uno for you first question let me know do you want the videos to be long short or medium right or no videos at all up to you guys next uh next question uh please feel free to drop any comments are these any good to you or not Ready? Okay. Well, have a nice one. We'll come up with another video. Another video will still be on decision making. Please give me your feedback. Thanks very much. Bye for now. Keep cracking and belling the cat. Ciao. Bye bye.